Hi everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate once again, this time coming to you from my office. And I just want to share with you five additional things that you're going to want in your car, especially if you're in the Northeast or any place where there's any kind of cold weather or snow in the winter that you're going to want in your car. If you're a rideshare driver, if you're a delivery driver, if you're doing any kind of gig work, you're going to want to make sure you get those things. So first things first, make sure you look here at my previous video. I think it goes here or here. I don't know. Look here <laughs> at my previous video and it will show you uh, the first set of things that I shared. But let's get on with this new list, this additional list, if you will. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want, especially if you're a delivery driver, is an extra hot bag if you can't get your hands on an extra hot bag because you know they give them away all over the place you can go to a thrift store you can go to a dollar store you can go to a second hand store and you can find hot bags insulated bags if you can't find that get yourself a blanket you can even get one of those insulated blankets i don't know if you know what i'm talking about you just need something that's going to hold the heat in something extra because it's going to be cold and hopefully your car is warmed up by the time you are out running deliveries you're going to need a way to keep those food items warm and just here's another tip too: bring the hot bags with you at least one into the restaurants because if you live in an area like i do and it's 10 or 15 degrees outside and there are snow banks all over the place and you've got to park a ways and walk you don't want to be walking through that cold air letting that food cool down until you get to your car bring the hot bag with you okay the second thing you're going to want and this is more for um this is for your safety really and maybe even to help out someone else who might be stranded and that is a portable jump starter kit you can pick these up at Walmart, you can pick these up at Home Depot, Lowe's, order it online. It's literally a battery pack that's about this big, and you you plug it in, you charge it, you keep it in your car, you take it out once a week to make sure it's fully charged, and then all you have to do is hook the thing up to your battery. You don't need someone else to jump start your car if your battery dies. You don't need to um, worry about if you're correctly hooking things up, crossing poles from one battery or another because it's got instructions right on it, really easy to do. And it can even charge your phone. And it can, some of these also have like a little flashlight built into them. So one of these portable jump starters, that's going to be really helpful. It might also even help you if there's someone you run into on the side of the road who needs a little help. Boom, you jump start their car, you're off. No having to mess with crazy long jumper cables or anything like that. The third thing that you're going to want is a can of that carpet cleaner. You know, you spray it on, scrub it out, because you're going to be getting in and out of your car. People are going to be getting out in and out of your car. This is probably something you should at least keep on hand and have in your garage, because especially if you're going to be taking passengers, they're going to be getting in and out with dirty boots. And even though you may have the mats down, there's still some sections of carpet that aren't completely covered, usually on the sides of the, of the car in the back seat. So get yourself a can of that spray carpet cleaner, and then that way you can clean that up lickety split, and you don't have to worry about if it's going to dry, if it's going to stain. You can get it cleaned up right away, and you won't have the expense of paying a detailer to come in and shampoo your carpets and things like that because if you get right on it then you're good to go all right so this is something that i discovered and, and learned recently from what's the guy gig sharks or something like that I, I forget the guy's name you can get these usb powered heating pads and they're about oh eight inches square or something like that and what you do is you put them in the bottom of your hot bag and you plug them into a USB port, usually in your car, or if you have an adapter, plug it into a USB adapter, and it will keep that food extra warm. This is a really gonna be important in 
very, very cold climates like one that I'm in, because it'll just give you that extra opportunity of getting food delivered to people when it's still hot and making sure you get the highest tips. You can get these for like 15 bucks. They're totally worth it. Uh, it's an investment in what you're doing and you can probably make that money back in one night of deliveries very, very easily. If you have heated seats, turn on the seat heater in your passenger seat so that you can keep that seat warm and so that any bags, and if you, if you run out of space in your hot bag or your hot bags, you can put the food on top of a heated seat. It's not sitting on something cold. It's got heat actively going into it. That'll really help you out. This next item goes along with the carpet cleaner. You want a general purpose interior cleaner and some microfiber towels. Again, people are going to be getting in and out. You're going to be getting in and out. Having a spray bottle handy and that towel so you can just touch up the interior if you notice that it's gotten dirty is just a great way to make sure that you are keeping your car clean. And if something spills, you can clean it up right away. And you don't need to worry about that, the smell of the food staying in the car for a long time. So if you're doing delivery and bringing passengers, you can get your car cleaned up really quickly. Really keeping that car clean is going to be very important during the winter. And just as kind of a bonus alongside that, if you can splurge for a portable vacuum cleaner that is battery powered, that you can just keep in the trunk so that if you need to run the vacuum really quickly, that's going to save you a lot of hassle down the line. If you clean as you go, you know, you've heard this, if you've ever worked in a kitchen, you've heard this phrase, clean as you go. It's the same thing with your vehicle. If you clean as you go, if the second you notice that something is dirty, pull off to the side of the road, clean it up. It is going to keep your car looking great. It's going to keep your car smelling great, which is even more important because you don't want to drive around a car that smells like nasty old food. It's just going to be a better, better experience for you. So let's go through these items one more time. You're going to want an extra hot bag. You're going to want one of those portable jump starting kits. You'll want some carpet cleaner. Pick up a USB powered heating pad slash keep your car seats, uh, your heated car seats turned on. You are going to want that interior cleaner, general purpose interior cleaner, along with microfiber towels. And if you feel like you can splurge for it, a battery powered vacuum cleaner. Hey, I hope this list helps you out. Just some things you want to think about having in your vehicle as winter approaches so that you're ready when the weather goes bad on you and goes south on you. My name is John from Ride Upstate, and remember, just because you live in a small market doesn't mean you have to settle for small profits.